Understanding allergies is half the battle in controlling your symptoms. Allergies can cause sneezing, congestion, watery eyes, wheezing, and other telltale symptoms. If your physician has diagnosed you with allergies, you may be wondering what causes them or what the best steps are to decrease symptoms. Learning about allergies will help you understand what steps to take. To get you started, here are some allergy basics. Allergens. People with allergies react to substances called allergens. Allergens are harmless to most people, but when you have allergies, your body finds these substances dangerous and reacts by producing antibodies to protect against them. People vary in their degree of sensitivity to allergens, the types of symptoms they experience, and the severity of their allergic reactions. In all cases, reducing allergens in your home environment is a great step for finding relief. Indoor allergens. The three primary indoor allergens are dust mite allergens, mold spores, and pet dander. Now, together, these three allergens can trigger severe allergy symptoms if you don't take any steps to reduce your exposure to them. Allergic threshold. Your allergic threshold determines how sensitive you are to an allergen. If you're very sensitive and it doesn't take much exposure to cause an allergic reaction, you have a low allergic threshold. Allergen load. Your allergen load is the total exposure you have at any given time to the various allergens that you are sensitive to. Allergen avoidance. Allergen avoidance steps are actions taken around the home to reduce your exposure to allergens. They include encasing your bed, cleaning, and capturing airborne allergens with air filters and purifiers. Does this sound like a lot to absorb? It really isn't. Here's a simple analogy that will illustrate how allergens affect you. Now picture a glass, which represents your allergic threshold. A small glass, or a low threshold, overflows easily when too much liquid is poured inside. A larger glass, or a high threshold, can tolerate greater amounts of liquid before it overflows. The liquid filling your glass is your allergen load. It may contain one of several types of allergens, like dust mites, pet dander, or molds. A contact with too many allergens, or ones that you are particularly sensitive to, will cause the glass to overflow. The glass overflowing represents your allergic reaction. Allergy relief is found by minimizing the amount of exposure to the types of allergens you are sensitive to. If you take simple allergen avoidance steps around the home, you can reduce your allergen load and keep exposure to various allergens at a minimum. This goes a long way toward achieving allergy relief. Reducing your overall exposure doesn't have to be an all or nothing project. As long as you keep your exposure below your allergic threshold, you can prevent allergy symptoms from flaring up. And the best way to get started on reducing those allergens in your home is by encasing your bed.